Guess what time it is. It is Hawaii haul time. You guys ready? Yes, I have been gathering things online for the past couple months. <laughs> really the past like two months or so and I'm gonna show you everything that I've gotten to take to Hawaii everything that's new I should say if you want to see how we pack stay tuned because we're gonna have a packing video and then we're gonna be on our way to Maui so this is it this is an exciting video to make I always do this I always have things that we have ordered and things that are going to make the trip a little bit easier and more fun so let's just dive in I'm gonna go through things from the dollar store from Amazon and from Shein because we bought a lot of clothes, so I'm gonna show you everything that we got from those places. Let's just jump right in. All right, first up, might seem a little silly. I'm getting Easter stuff to take for my kids for Easter. <laughs> we don't have time before we go to celebrate Easter, and I don't know when they're going to get their Easter basket, and it's really, on, honestly, like all I'm gonna put in here is a bag of m and and maybe a chocolate egg. I can't do much more than that, because I can't pack a whole lot more than that, but I do wanna celebrate Easter with the kids, so I got these bags from the dollar store. They're two pack, and they have two different kinds in each pack. There are six different bags. We have four girls, but the boyfriend is coming. My daughter's boyfriend, my oldest daughter's boyfriend is coming with us, so he will get an Easter bag as well, um, so there will be one extra bag to spare. I don't know if I'm gonna give my husband one. We'll find out. But I also got some little Easter colored tissue paper to put inside it. I haven't decided if I'm gonna take that with me when they're gonna get it, but I have it ready to go regardless. Okay, next up from the dollar store, they're not gonna stay in the boxes. I just wanted to be able to show you. I don't know if I need any gallon size baggies anymore because I did have some extras from the fill, refill that I did from my drawer over there. But I did want to take some quart size baggies. We, we use baggies all the time for food when we take it down to the beach. And what we have noticed in the units that we rent is that they don't have enough Tupperwares. <laughs> they maybe have like one Tupperware and usually we need that in the fridge for like leftovers or extra food, whatever. So I just find that baggies comes in handy both for the flight to get there to put some extra food in um, as we travel but also for when we're out and about going to the beach. It's just easy to put food into a baggie, throw it into our beach bag or a cooler bag and then we can actually just throw the bag away if it gets extra dirty but I'm going to take a bunch of these with us. Okay so that's all I've gotten from the dollar store. I'm going to show you a few things that I've gotten from Amazon. Actually just two things from Amazon I believe. <laughs> and the first thing was a three pack of Meclazine. Yes, we have three kiddos, including the boyfriend who get very motion sick. And so I have 300 pills <laughs> to get us through the time we'll, that we're on vacation. If you've never used Meclazine before, yeah, I highly recommend it for motion sickness, both on a plane, in a car, on a boat, and a zip line, possibly. You might get motion sickness from a zip line. Meclazine, at least this dose, you can use this and it lasts for 12 solid hours. I know that from experience because after exactly 12 hours, we we still had a descent on a flight after a delay and my daughter in fact did throw up because the medication had worn off. So yes, I highly recommend this. One dose plus 12 hours. We are just going to have those kids take the dose every 12 hours, the days that we need to travel. <laughs> Very cheap, 100, 100 pills per bottle. Highly recommend that if you're going to travel and especially Hawaii. There's so many things that you can do that you get motion sickness for. The road to Hana in Maui, yes. Boat rides, um, again, the zip line might make you sick, so to get that. So next up, um, I can't remember if I actually ordered this from Amazon. I might have actually gotten this from Target. I honestly can't remember. Everyone is going to get a pack of gum for themselves and then I'm going to have two extras for the return flight. Gum helps you um, clear your ears on flight and also on the um, road to Hana, I found that this was helpful to have gum in the car for the kiddos that kind of had a little bit of motion sickness. They needed something in their mouth. Um, the Meclazine worked, but this just kind of gives them a little bit extra. Um, we always travel with gum and I always let each kid have their own pack because they're old enough. So we got an eight pack of gum, so there's plenty to go around. Last up that I got from Amazon were these cups. So I'm gonna open them up and show you. This is just for fun. Last year we took plastic cups that were just, we could throw them away. I kind of felt guilty about that, so I kept washing them and then they kept shrinking or they kept melting in the dishwasher if they accidentally got put in the dishwasher. So this time I just got reusable plastic cups and they have lids on them 
and they have a hole for straw and they actually color change. Maybe I'll go and try one really quick because that, that, that was just an egg. They color change and you can see a design on them. We find that, again, the units don't have a lot of cups for smoothies. They have a lot of glassware. And if you have children, I like, you know, you don't wanna use the glassware and the goblet and whatnot. So we never have enough plasticware for smoothies. And we make smoothies in our condos in Hawaii every single time. So I got six cups. Yes, there are seven of us. We can share. Not all seven of us will be having one all at the same time. We can share. But I wanted to have these and we can even make smoothies and take them down to the pool side. This is also a saver on budget. So you're not not spending $8 a smoothie. Imagine how much that would cost every single time. I know that because it costs us $8 for every shave ice, <laughs> which we do pay for. If I can save money on the smoothies, I'm going to. So here's a quick little show of what the glass looks like. It's just fun. I didn't need to get the color changing ones. Um, and actually some of them have like fall leaves on them, but I liked the ones that have flowers on them. It was just something extra. Price wasn't any different to get the color changing ones, but why not? Okay, next up is clothes. I'm gonna try and go through this as quick as I can. I tried to put them in order for each kid. I don't know, not that it matters very much, but we're just gonna quickly go through these. I got this cute white beach cover for myself. I have like this wrap skirt ones. I have a lot of those actually, but I wanted to get one that was just a, an actual shirt to cover my shoulders up, but I don't, I don't like it to be, you know, I wanted it to be see-through. So I got that for myself. Then I got this one for my daughter. If you are an OG viewer, you will recognize this one because it is the same that my daughter has worn in the past. I literally ordered the exact same one that she has used in the past. Because you know what? If you know, you know. And if that's the one you like and that's the style you like, then order it again. It's all good. Next up in swimwear, my daughter got a new swimsuit. That is the bottom for hers. And then here is the top crop with a little halter. Super cute. She looks really good in that one. Then she also got one in green. This one is really cute on her. She actually has some extra bottoms, I think, that will work well with these as well. I think she has some black bottoms that still fit, so she can kind of mix and match some of these, and it'll look cute with her little cover. All right, my other daughter wanted a more mature swim cover for herself. Didn't want to matchy match her sister, so she got one this. Really cute, because she actually does have a lot of black and white swimsuits, so this one will look good with her stuff. I just I like having things that they feel special in, um, in terms of covering up for the sun, because then they're gonna want to put it on because they're fair skinned. <laughs> they get sunburned, which leads me to Ashley's swimsuit. This is Ashley's cover. Um, Chelsea's was the first one. Um, this is Ashley's new swimsuit. You guys, they fly through swimsuit. They, <laughs> they're just growing up. So these are her bottoms. She almost always chooses little board short bottoms, um, which I don't mind at all, but she can choose the other style too, which she does have, but I mainly got that swimsuit because I needed her to have a full rash guard. I, they're fair skinned. She is my fairest skinned and she gets burned really easy. I told her she needed to wear her rash guard in the ocean um, so that I don't have to plaster her with a mineral sunscreen except for her face when she is in the ocean. When she is in the pool, unless we're going kind of back and forth, um, if it's just a pool day, she can wear her regular swimsuit because I can keep her braid way faster than I can do the mineral sunscreen for the ocean. Um, so we kind of had to make a deal. She has to wear this one in the ocean, but then the cover comes in handy when she's in the pool and out of the pool and having food and stuff. And she can put this cover on. She can even change out of the shirt um, using the wrap um, if she's on the beach and wants to put regular swimsuit on. So finishing up swimsuit duff, I was able to get myself a new pair of swim bottoms. I don't like my bottom to show, so I covered up. I, it's just, I, I don't need to see my thighs. They don't need to be shown. So I got a new pair of bottoms because my old one won't stay up. We don't need to have bottoms falling off in the ocean or the pool for all to see. So I was able to buy a new pair because I slimmed down, which is a very fun thing. Last up, we have a few things. Well, actually I don't have one of them. My daughter has a new dress that we are wearing for our family portraits. And she is also going to get one extra shot for her senior photo. She's actually picking up her cap and gown in a few days. For current day, she's picking up her cap and gown. And that's a little surreal to me, so I told her to bring her cap with her and we're gonna do a senior photo as part of our family photos. I think it's gonna be pretty amazing to get a senior photo on the beach in Hawaii. I don't know who else is gonna get the chance to be able to do that. So I 
wanted to give her that opportunity. So she does have a dress for that. Save that and let you view that in the, in the moment when she is doing that photo session. Um, but Ashley was able to pick out a cute little skirt. She actually has a white top that she got with this as well. But she wore it yesterday and got makeup on it. <laughs> Fantastic. So mom is going to have to order a new white t-shirt to wear with this shirt, which is fine. The shirt that I got from Shein was only $3. It's not that big of a loss. She actually doesn't like it as long as it was. So we have learned to fold it down and she liked that length better. I'm not going to hem it. I'm not going to do anything extra to it. It is what it is. Again, it's from Shein. This probably cost me $5. It doesn't really matter to me if it's only used for this trip and maybe a few other times to go to church. So my dress that I chose, it took me a very long time. I've literally been looking for a dress since like last year. It took some time and I finally found one. I wanted it to be sleeveless. I wanted to show my sun burnt arms. I wanted to show some color, um, but I also wanted it to kind of have a cute little print. Look how cute that is. Isn't that so fun? Isn't that going to look good in the, in the, with my sun-kissed cheek and the blue waters behind with the white sandy beaches. I'm very excited. It goes just past my knees. It has a cute detail on the bottom. It does need to be ironed. I'm going to try and iron it one time right before I pack it, kind of pack it really nice, but I'm very excited to wear that. I do need to wear a little mini tank top. It's actually a crop tank top I got from Shein in a different order um, because my bra shows in the back. Um, the current bra that I have to wear with it um, shows in the back. So I kind of just need to wear a crop tank top. Literally the crop tank top, it goes just underneath my chest, comes up, covers across here, covers across my back in the same spot, but then it has spaghetti strap. So one, it doesn't give me extra heat, which is always a problem for me wearing a second layer to cover up the ladies, um, but it'll give me the coverage that I need. But I am very excited to wear that. Jason will just wear his regular Hawaiian shirts that we have gotten from Costco in Hawaii before and I'm very excited for our family photos. They could possibly be our Christmas. If it turns out the way I want it to turn out, it will be our Christmas photos for this year. The last thing that I got, and you made it clear to the end, except I just saw we forgot something. So I'll show you one more thing right at the very end. The last thing that I got, just because we are taking my daughter's boyfriend, normally I wear little nightgowns from Walmart. They're like $6 for pajamas. I think maybe that would feel awkward for him. <laughs> so and I don't tend to walk around in pajamas here at home. I just wear whatever I'm wearing and then when I go to bed, I go to bed. Like I shower, change, go to bed and I don't have like actual pajamas that I wear. And so I just got myself a cute pair of pajamas. They're just short um, and then I got a t-shirt. It was a set from Amazon. The, oh yeah, this one is Amazon. This is not Shein. This is just from Amazon um, and I believe I got an extra large. Didn't have an, I didn't have to add an extra X. So, and it fit. It fits well. Um, it is white. White, so I will wear, I have like a around the house mini sports bra that I will wear underneath that so that there's no uncomfortableness with the boyfriend. My kids don't care, but I don't want him to be uncomfortable with, you know, the girlfriend's mom walking around the condo during the night. Okay, so last up from the dollar store, I totally forgot to like show this. We use glow stick. We did this last year on the big island and the girls really liked it. Um, Only Chelsea and Ashley got in the pool the last night. We had forgotten about them. Um, well, we mainly forgot about them because Chelsea had had so many ear issues and actually I sh well I'll, I'll I'll have my husband hey Jason I'm gonna have him go get one more thing that I ordered on Amazon we've talked about it before but I'll show you what that looks like um Chelsea had ear infections last time we were in Hawaii and so the last the only time she could get in the pool the last half of our trip was the last night and so the glow sticks were actually really helpful because she couldn't submerge her ear but she could be the one throwing the glow stick into the pool for Ashley and I think these are gonna be really fun to play with multiple nights so we'll just pull Pull out one pack a night and use them. I also gave them to Jacob, um, my daughter's boyfriend, um, so that he has his own pack that he can kind of play with whenever he wants to. They actually are really fun. Hopefully we don't put any of the little pieces on them. I'm just going to leave them as the glow stick so that we don't lose the pieces into the pool. I don't want to like, I don't want to make a trashy mess and we will take them out of the pool when we are done playing with them. Okay, I actually forgot to show you this. This is the, this is going to be our lifesaver for one of our kids. <laughs> Hopefully only one of our kids has this problem going forward. Our Chelsea, our dear Chelsea, she is coming up on 13 years old and she gets ear infections every single time we go to Hawaii. I'm not even kidding you. Sometimes she gets it the very last day that we go and it's just she kind of has to bear through the pain until we get home and then I take her straight to urgent care. We get the medication and everything.
everything is fine. She got it halfway through our trip last time. Door, noise. So we went to our pediatrician and talked to her. She actually specifically ordered, she specifically put these into my Amazon shopping cart herself. They are called Nasova ear drying drops. We also got a prescription for an antibiotic ear drop. So not an oral medication, but an actual inner ear drop in case she does have an ear infection. But until then, we are gonna use these ear drops. And let me just quickly tell you how to use these. I will put the link to these down below as well as, I don't know if I'm gonna link everything. <laughs> I will link the meclizine because I think that's the most important thing to order when you're traveling for anyone. Um, so I will link both of those down below. These are ear drying drop at, for adults and for uh, children. It doesn't really matter. When she swims, she will get out of the pool. She will put these drops in her ear and it will dry her ears as much as they can. And then she's gonna use Q-tip to get out any extra water. And then she's gonna blow dry her ear on low heat, but she's going to blow dry her ears. And hopefully, hopefully that will cause all of the water to stop pooling up inside her ear, which is where the bacteria infection comes from. If this doesn't completely get rid of the water and she does end up getting an infection and she has any kind of ear pain, that's when we will use the antibiotic drops from the doctor. She will have to go a whole day without submerging her ears um, while she gets that medication into her ears and then she will be fine to him after that. Um, so we have a lot of safety precautions set up so that she does not have the experiences she has had in the past. So if you have ear issues, shoes when you go swimming, I highly recommend you get these as well. Meanwhile, <laughs> my daughter is texting me to pay her back for the cafe reel that she paid for. Oh my goodness sakes, child. <laughs> She's like, pay me back, pay me back. Interesting that it never is the same in the reverse. Anyhow, thank you very much for joining me on this little Hawaii haul. If you are new, we love Hawaii. We love getting ready for Hawaii. We love packing for Hawaii. And we absolutely love our time there. We are going to the island of Maui. This is our children's second time going to Maui. But my husband and I have now gone two extra times ourselves over the past two years. So this is our fourth time going, but it is the boyfriend's first time going to Hawaii ever. He has never gone anywhere besides California or Minnesota where he is from. So we are very excited to show him around the island. Come and join us in all of our videos, all our adventures. I document everything. I'm, I'm a very real person. If we end up having a bad day, I'll tell you about it. May not necessarily film the bad part of it, but I will be real in that travel is hard, especially with children and families and husbands and extra boyfriends that might be coming along. So join us for all of those. This is just the tip of the iceberg with all of our things that we're taking with us to make it easier. I have made a billion other videos in, in terms of what we take to Hawaii, what we pack for Hawaii. So if you are in a Maui fix mood right now, go and click all the playlists. They're all down below. You can go by year, you can go by island, you can go by packing. You can search everything here on my channel. We've done it. I've filmed it. We've documented it. Go check them all out, including our past trips to Maui, and then stay tuned because we're about to hit the island and we're gonna have a great time. So take care, mahalo, and see you in Maui really, really soon. I just forgot the best part and I have to do it before Jason hears me. Hang on one sec. Stop one minute, you guys. I just forgot the best part and I'm whispering because Jason is in the other room and he doesn't know about this stuff. He doesn't know. We, he does know that we bought Jacob a pair of swim trunks. You probably saw this, right? You saw this in the video where we gave Jacob his own swim shorts. Well, what are these then? They're his, they're Jason's. Kaylee and Jacob planned this. They ordered Jacob his own pair. But what Jason doesn't know, and what Kaylee and Jacob planned, is that Jason has his very own pair of matching swim shorts to match the boyfriend. What they also don't know, I bought a pair for Kaylee. That's so, so cute. I got Kaylee a pair, so they're gonna match her boyfriends and her dad. Fantastic. But what they also don't know, I ordered one for me. The four of us will have matching swimsuit. Yep, it's gonna be so good. That's why I had to wait. This video has to wait until we're already there. So that they don't know about it. I have to hide these. I've been hiding these for a week, and I still have a few more weeks to hide these. You're seeing this, but I have to hide. You're obviously, the surprise is gonna be out by the time you guys see that, but I have, to, I have to pack without them seeing it. Ignore my phone. So good. So I gotta go and hide these. Jason's right there.